Hey guys, my name is Kevin. Welcome to episode four of the Baritone Finger Picking Series. I hope you guys have had some fun with this series and learned some new things. Today we're gonna explore a new pattern in the time signature 3-4. So originally we've been doing all of these in the 4-4 time signature. Today I'm gonna show you how to apply a finger picking pattern in case you come across a song that's in either 3-4 or 6-8. So tune up your baritone and let's get started. All right, so this is a really cool pattern I'm gonna show you now. So let's start with our good technique here. Let's get our pinky adhered to the body of the baritone. And then we wanna make sure our hand is in good position here. The only two fingers that you're gonna need for this pattern are your thumb and your index finger. So let me show you the pattern really quick here. So I'm gonna start by putting my index finger underneath the E string here on the bottom. Also, my thumb will be resting on top of the B string. So the pattern starts like this. I'm gonna start with my thumb, and then I'm gonna play my index finger. So that's one and. Now every time I do that, I'm gonna use my index finger to pull the bottom string. So the pattern goes thumb, index, then I go up to the G string, and I do thumb, index on the E string, and then I go up to the D string and pluck down with my thumb and do an up pluck on the E string. So again, nice and slow, that is one and two and three and. So let's just try that together nice and slow. I'll count one and two and three and as we go, just so you can get some nice repetitions. Don't worry about holding any chords right now. We're just gonna focus solely on the finger picking pattern. This might be something you wanna watch your hand as you do, especially with you know this pattern that's kind of new and unfamiliar. So here we go. I'll count us in with a three count. So one, two, three. One and two and three. more time. Two and three and. All right, so for more repetitions here, we're going to hold a single chord while we practice this finger picking pattern. So with our ring finger, we're going to hold down the E string on the third fret here playing just a regular G major chord. So get in your good position here. Make sure you're smiling. We're playing baritone ukulele together. Another repetition, nice and slow. So here we go, I'll count us in with a three count. One, two, three. One and two and three and one and two and three and. Keep it going. Two, three, one, two, three. One and two and three and one and two and. Last one. So now, let's expand upon this a little bit. Finger picking is really cool because it arpeggiates the chords that you're playing. So whether you're playing chords on the top couple strings or the bottom, you're gonna find some just different qualities coming out of those chords as you finger pick them. So I picked a couple of chords here on the top three strings so you can hear what that sounds like as our thumb moves through the strings here. So we're gonna start off this little sequence with a C chord. And then we're just gonna add our ring finger here and make this into an A minor chord. And you can look at these chord shapes on the graphics on the screen as well. And then the third chord will be E minor. We'll just be middle finger here on the D string on the second fret. So what we'll do here is we're gonna do the pattern two times on C, two times on A minor, and then four times on E minor. So just follow along, I'll count. We're gonna go through this really slow, this first repetition. Now, now that you've kind of had a little chance to work on the pattern, I want you to kind of start trusting your finger picking hand and moving your attention over here to your chording hand. So I'll count us in with a three count again. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again. 
again. Two, three, one, two, A minor, E minor. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so now we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit here. Same exact chord progression, but we're gonna be moving a little bit quicker so you can feel what this is actually gonna be like in a song. So here we go, same chord progression, same number of times, same good technique, same smile on your face. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. time for progression number two. So the second progression, we're gonna use some three finger chords. So this time around, we're gonna go from D. We're gonna play that twice through the pattern. And then we're gonna to move to our G chord. Ring finger here on the third fret on the E string. And then we're gonna move here to an A chord. So I have middle ring and pinky here on the top three strings on the second fret and then we move right back to our D chord. So every chord will be two times a piece through the finger picking pattern. D, G, A, D. We're just gonna go nice and slow here for this first time around and then we'll pick it up for the second time. So here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. So now we're gonna ramp it up just a little bit. So here we go. One, two, three. 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 A, two, three. A, two, three. D, two, three. D, two, three. D, two, you guys had some fun learning this new finger picking pattern today I would suggest spending some time with this going really really slow focusing on your picking hand making sure your technique is nice and solid before you try any of the faster repetitions I really appreciate you guys checking out this video I put together some exercises that you can check out at allforuke.com where I'll have another variety of chords that you can work through with this finger picking pattern as well as some practice tracks that I've created to help you play along with these finger picking patterns so I recorded some stuff with a metronome if you're a member of my website, allforuke.com, you can check that out. I'll also mention, if you like this baritone uke, I have this baritone as well as other standard tuning ukes on allforuke.com slash shop. If you wanna check those out, support the channel by buying your next Kala ukulele. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Leave your comments below. Let me know how you're liking this series. If you have any finger picking patterns you'd like to share with the community, feel free to do so in the comments. And my name's Kevin. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I'll see you next time. Thank you.